Artistic Gamer 7 and welcome back to some more Sims for the Forgotten series. So there's a lot I gotta sort of catch up on here when it comes to this episode. Uh, first and foremost, this is going to be the last episode of the Forgotten series. I'm gonna do update videos on the Forgotten family just like I'm gonna do for the Eevee family because both of those series are currently ending and this is the last one of the Forgotten series. But that is some details for another day. Now, if you watch my update video and I was talking about how there were some things that happened off camera when I was actually, I wasn't even playing anyone in the Forgotten family or anyone really closely to them. Also, are you still teaching, like helping him with his homework when he's done and actually went to bed? It's like, I'm going to put this into your head even while you sleep. <laughs> um, but yeah, a lot of things to sort of catch you up on. If you missed the last episode um, at this particular household, the last episode in general, but especially the one that was at this household and not the other household with Andreon and them, I highly suggest going to watch that episode. It was I ended up splitting one episode into two separate episodes because there was so much going on. Um, so... But yeah, I highly suggest going back and watching those. Basically, Arachneon, Vineon, and Dante were all in a little plot together to bring back one of the worst vampires ever known. Yes, they're all three vampires, but um, <laughs> there was good reasons. But this particular vampire was a very horrible person. He literally turned people just for the fun of it, tortured them, bullied them, whatever. He did it. And he was actually the one that turned Arachneon and Vineon and they were plotting a scheme against him. It took a really long time and it took a lot of like planning, a lot of like going around, switching shifts, but in the end they did actually kill Emric, which was the vampire who turned them. And in doing so, Dante's actually been kicked out of his house. <laughs> um Dante and Imbrook were actually brothers, and now Dante is, like, temporarily living here for the time being because Arachneon's like, listen, me and Vineon pulled you in on this. And the funny thing is, is Arachneon and Dante used to hate each other. <laughs> but, you know, it things started turning as soon as they figured out Dante was Imbrook's brother. And then they found out Dante didn't like his brother either, so then it was like, oh, okay. But yeah, um, if you don't know much about Dante, he is... There's his family tree. This is Arachne. Oh, I'm still on Arachneons. I just went to where Dante was. Ha! Whoa. <laughs> um, Dante is in my story. Actually, one of the sons of Vlad. And then Ashlyn here, who is their parents. Emric is his older brother, who, as you can tell, is now deceased. He was death by sunlight because we got him to stay out there. Vlad and Emric were actually close. And Dante was closer to his mom, but Vlad kicked him out because Vlad has more of a say in the house. So Dante is now temporarily living here because they offered for him to, like, have a place to stay here because they's like, so he's taken Fantion's old room. Um, obviously a lot of her personal effects have been taken out here, just some of the stuff that Dante could actually use himself and things that they just decided not to get rid of and such. But, um, yeah, so Dante's now living here. And for the time being to try and, you know, until he finds or somewhere where he needs to go. I'm Oh, poor Mechion. I'll get to you here in a moment. So yeah, now we have Dante temporarily in the household. He is not a forgotten family member, but at the current time being, he is living with us. So, I mean, the fact that we asked him to... You were just asleep. Oh, freaking... <laughs> Why did you wake him up still? I mean, he's not super sleepy, but... Come on! Oh, what was he gonna do? Oh, he was gonna protect a man. I should have left him be. <laughs> anyway. Um, so yeah. So that's why he's here. Um, also in the last episode, um, at this household, last two episodes, Dreon took Evie out on a, uh, dinner date along with Estelle, Evie's daughter, and then his son, Jay. It has been a while since I've been at this household, so it's so time has been going on. Um, those two are still very close. As far as the dating front, Mechion is not doing so fine. So, uh, Mechion is actually the one that I was referring to that some things happened to 
when I wasn't recording. I did take screenshots. I should be posting them up on the screen as I speak right now. But I was actually playing my sim and she went out with her friends, which is actually my real life sims f based off my real life friends. Um, Megan, Cassie, and Jesse. And, well, I knew, I had seen that Cassie, which was Mekion's girlfriend, had romantic bars with another, well, technically two other guys, but the other one was almost completely depleted, and I was actually part of the reason why that was there, and that was before Mekion, so that one didn't matter. Um, but the other one was not there before Mekion, and I was like, okay, she's like cheating on him or something but i was just gonna let sim sort of decide its thing but it decided its thing when i was least expecting it because both mekion and the guy that she had had a thing with also other than like on the side i guess were all at this nightclub or bar i think it was a nightclub i don't remember which one but um and she ended up flirting and kissing the other guy right in front of Mekion and I like I he's a sim he's not a real person he's a fictional character but I felt so bad for him in that moment especially knowing like sort of his backstory and how in my head I would imagine like, like how he grew up and everything like that I was feeling so bad for him and I was like I am so sorry, Mekion. This has gotta suck. And the thing was, is like, I went and looked at hers, and it was one of the first times that I ever seen the romance bars different for the different Sims. I went and looked at hers, and she had hit romance for him had dramatically decreased. But for some reason, Mekion's was, it had definitely decreased, but not nearly as much as her. Like, he apparently still really wanted to make it work, but it was very obvious it wasn't gonna work. It was very obvious who she had sort of chose without me even controlling her. Because I had no control over Mekion. I had no control over this other dude. I had no control over her. I was controlling my Sims household. So, whatever they did, they they decided to do on their own. And she decided the other guy, obviously. So, they are broken up. He, he still ha he has a memory system of the broken heart. but And he's also hungry. I think... <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, actually. Oh, he has a stomach bug. Okay, he feels like puking. That's cool. <laughs> Poor Mekion. He can't catch a break. It's like, what is he doing? So, yeah, he is no longer... They they did, like, actually break up, break up. It's... They're no longer a thing. I don't know if he has any memory of the guy that she was... I don't see him. So either he never even tried to interact with the guy or he's already somehow forgotten him because my sims do that. But anyway, so yeah, he's no longer with... Okay, they had some negative interaction there, but he's no longer dating Cassie, so he's back to being single. Poor little Mechion. I, <laughs> I wanted to give him a hug, but obviously I can't. He's in the computer, so... Um, that was not a thing I could do. So that's where this family is at right now. Oh, why is everyone in here? <laughs> why? <laughs> also, guys, Mekion's apparently sick with the stomach bug. I don't know if I'd stay- Oh, gosh, they have merged. I, I don't know if I would be staying too close to him. I'm just saying. Um... <laughs> But it was also, I, I probably already, sh I should have already showed them because I'm back to the regular screen. But uh, also, like, Mekion and them, like, I came to check on him. Like, I went to Cassie's and seen how things were on her end and then came to his, like I was saying, to see, like, their different powers and stuff like that. And literally, like, his family was trying to be so, like, supporting of him. I was like, y'all are too freaking adorable because they were doing it on their own. And I was like, y'all know how sensitive he is. I love y'all. <laughs> so, like... They may have their issues, the Forgotten Family, but they are a close family nonetheless. So, why is ev everyone's feeling a different emotion? We got, we got energized. We got very uncomfortable because he's probably about to vomit. We got angry. Who knows? Yeah, I think he's just hot-headed, so. Very happy. Anxious. And confident. And then, if you can't steal, I'm pretty sure he's fine, even though he... Are you okay still? 
Like, is that how you're sleep? Are you having a night? Okay. Is he okay? Is he awake? I think he's awake. Like, something seems wrong with him. Scratch his favorite spot. I know you feel like puking. Just don't puke on the dog. <laughs> Please, no puking on the dog. I'm pretty sure the dog would not like that. Just say. <laughs> Little Jay's just walking around like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm awesome. <laughs> he's so freaking adorable. I love Jay. I mean, he's so cute. Like, he was not planned like a big majority of my Sims, honestly. Sims kids. But, um, he's adorable. Nonetheless, I'm glad he's here. Anyway, how is everyone doing on their career stuff? Okay, you got that going on. Do you even work? Nah, you don't work. Listen, here's here's the one thing, Dante. Um, I know you used to live in a big job. I mean, this is a pretty big house, if I I say so myself. Uh, but you used to live in like this like fancy old house and stuff like that, and y'all had loads of money because who knows how old your dad is? Who knows how old you are? Technically, um, and y'all didn't really have to worry about money and stuff like that. But this house. That ain't the same. We got a nice house, but we, we have to pay for it, and we don't have a bunch of money like, you know, you're used to to actually keep up with those payments if, you know, not everyone's pinching in their worth. So, um, I'm sorry. You gotta get a career, sir. I mean, even if it's just a part-time career, that's at least something. At least you're trying. We're, granted, we pulled you into the mess that got you kicked out of your own house, but you willingly partook in that event and such... And we're being nice to allow you to come in your house because of that. But the least you could do is at least try to bring in, like, a little bit of extra stuff. Like, maybe maybe we'll have, like, where's, like, a professions? Where's, like, a part-time? Yeah, part-time. Let's do a part-time thing. Mm, is there any of them that mainly allows me to do stuff at night? I am a vampire, so... I think this is the safest bet for him. <laughs> Right now, I don't think he has sun resistance. I should have checked that first. Um, but I don't think he has sun resistance. He's really high up there, though. He's, like, further up than the rest of them. Like, he, he's... Oh, he's got a little bit of sun resistance. Just not a whole lot of sun resistance. So, uh... Yeah. <laughs> not a safe thing to have a job that makes you possibly be out in the day too often. Though, granted, I think a wreck... Arachneons probably does, but I would just imagine that the spy work she does, they always make sure that it's late at night or she's being put in a building. Why does everyone gravitate towards Mechion's music player and computer? I don't get it. I don't... I Y'all make no sense to me. Like, you can easily go down here and do your own computer. Look at Still. <laughs> He's so adorable. I love Still. <laughs> He's still, like, one of my utmost favorite pets. Without a doubt. Also, da okay, Dante's learning a lot of fishing stuff already. Like, what the heck? Does he actually already know fishing somehow? I like how, like how he's like literally trying to talk to like all. No, he doesn't have any fishing stuff. I like how he's like literally trying to talk to everyone in the household to like try to get to know them. Be like, listen, I, I, I y'all are letting me stay in here. The least I can do is be nice to y'all people and get to know. Oh, he's going to work. Where's Jay going? Oh, school. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he's going to school. <laughs> Father and son are leaving. Goodbye, guys. Have fun. Anyone else worked right now? Wait, Mechion usually goes to work around the same time. Oh, he's a little bit later now. Oh! You need- Get off my computer, Vinion! I don't feel well. Get off my computer. Get out of the chair. Get out of my chair. Bro. <laughs> Literally. <sighs> okay, now y'all need to like scooch around. So Okay, I just... Excuse me. <laughs> Mekian, I know you don't feel I, I know you don't feel well but yeah you gotta go to work dude I am so sorry like, he, he is not feeling well for so many reasons like he's still got this breakup looming over him he feels nauseous 
Like, he's just... <laughs> My poor Mechion, man. And now he's freaking dazed for medicine. But, you know, he seems perfectly happy. I don't know why you're dancing like this to this music, but... I mean, you do you. Do whatever you want to. Whoa! I forgot you knew Elsa. I think they once dated. That's awkward. Wait, are they still dating? I have no idea. Oh, they're still dating! <laughs> ha! I forgot! That was a thing! <laughs> um. About that. <laughs> Mother! Yeah! We'll chat to Mother. She's probably, like, checking up on him. Oh, she's so sweet. Why is she married to Vlad? I don't know. Well, I mean, she do whatever she wants to. Everyone's at work. <laughs> Except for Vinion and Dante. Oh, he's gonna go to work soon, too. Hey, Dante, you're gonna be left alone to the house. You better not do anything. Otherwise, you know, they might not allow you to stay. So just be careful. Just saying. It's just you and Steel gonna be left. Ashlyn has spread some juicy gossip about Rebecca. Wait. <laughs> Rebecca? Why do I feel like that's his sister's name? <sighs> yeah! Why is their mother spreading gossip about their toddler sister? I'm so confused. I I am confusion. But yeah, so they're back. Brought in some money, but no freaking promotions. Like, we need the promotions to start making the even bigger bucks. Ah. Oh, Jay's completed his homework. How nice. <laughs> um, is... No... He's not over that, or being sick, for that matter. Um, is that a shot? Nope. Okay. That actually made him sick. My bad. Um. <laughs> okay, I, mean, I don't know why this random kid is talking to me. That didn't help me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've made things worse. Um, okay, I'm gonna send him to the hospital. Just, just wait. Am I gonna follow him? I hope I don't. Okay. I was like, I don't want to actually follow him right now. <laughs> but I'm gonna hopefully try to get Mekion to feel better. <laughs> My bad, Mekion. I'm just <laughs> the poor, poor guy. Oh, well, Vinion's home. Get inside. Oh, wait, you have sun resistance now. I don't have to worry about you anymore. <laughs> you, you good? You good still? Why is this random kid trying to talk to all of us? Like, whose kid is this? Like, why is he a kid coming up to these random guys and talking to them? <laughs> <I'm> just... Hello? <laughs> also, Carrie's here. Um, Carrie is actually apparently one of Dante's friends. She showed up on the front door. Well, it was just him alone, so I was like, why not? I mean, I'll... I just sent you some money, mate. What the frick? What the frick? Hey! Thanks, Elsa! <laughs> I, re I remember I made Elsa just for fun and also for, like, to surprise my niece a long time ago. And then I was like, I don't want my Elsa to be, like, a normal, plain Elsa. So I turned her into a vampire. <laughs> So, and she's just stayed since then. Like, she's just, she's just here. <laughs> why not? And I forgot why I decided to let her start dating Dante either, too. I don't know, like, when, I don't remember when that became a thing. Why that became a thing. How long is he at the hospital? Okay, okay. What is this? Recovered. Especially fought off the cold, you will be unable to catch it again for a few days. So is the hospital trip working? Hmm. I think it's working. Who all does who all is he friend? Oh, he's got a few friends. Oh, he still considers Cassie a friend, even though they are broken up and it's very awkward. <laughs> oh, he's my wait, I'm friends with him? When did that happen? Okay. He's also friends with Fallon. Everyone else is family. Oh, well, except for Vanessa and Cleaver. She's dead. <laughs> Come on! Ah, oh, train! 
So he's actually got a few friends. I, I should really get knowing, going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Bye, Carrie! Carrie's so nice. How'd you become friends with Dante, Carrie? Who else was Dante friends with, actually? He's friends with Mistrevis. I think he, at one point he was Mistrevis' neighbor, so that would make some sense. He's mainly friends with girls. <laughs> like, literally, outside of family, it's all girls. And still. <laughs> oh, is Arachne on home? Yep. She didn't freaking get promoted either! No one's getting freaking promoted. What level's everyone at? Five. Oh, you just got... Eight. Oh, look at you, sir. Look at you. He's also on eight. Arachneon, you need to catch up. You really need to catch up. Girl, what you doing? Oh, you sizzling. That's what you do. <laughs> okay, anyway, I actually am going to have... Can you get off the treadmill? Now you're... You know what? You just made yourself sweaty slightly. Goodness freaking gracious. I'm trying to... Like... Come, like, sort of sort yourself out. <laughs> that, I, I told you to use toilet, then take a shower. I don't need to know if you necessarily need to, but I need, oh, actually. Huh? How is this hygiene not lower than that? Technically, you, technically you, what'd you do at work? You're technically good. Okay, anyway, um. We're actually going to... We're going to take Evie out on a date. Just Evie. We're not going to, like, have, like, an outing with with the kids involved again this time. It's just, just going to be... Work for Dante starts an hour. <laughs> have fun, Dante. Your first day on the job. Hope you like it. I don't really see you as the fisherman type, but it's the only one that I feel safe sending you to. <laughs> Okay, so we are actually here at Flareon's restaurant to start off with. There is, like, two people literally merging into each other. But, you know, hey, we'll, we'll like, you know, we'll, we'll not worry about that. Um, which table do we want? I don't think we can get anywhere upstairs, upstairs. Um, as much as I would. What the frick? Because he doesn't even have one celebrity level. Therefore... He can't make it past this door. She can't even make it past this door, technically. But. I would love to get, like, this table. Or, um, even, like, maybe this outside table here. But we can't make it to those tables. Those tables are reserved for only the super, super, super. Well, not the super, super, because you only have to be two stars. But, you know. The more famous than we are people so we have to go down here so let's get this one okay <laughs> let's not get this one let's get this one okay let's get this one i don't really want that one though let's take this one <laughs> i mean i don't really care which one takes me to the table just take me to the table why are so many people turning up with all these weird CC things? Like, I, I gotta do something about this. <laughs> okay. But hey, looks like, you know, all of her staff are here. Oh, look at y'all. I like y'all's outfits y'all got going on. Y'all are definitely from Sulani, aren't y'all? Pretty sure they're from Sulani. But yeah, we're here at Flareon's nice restaurant, actually. Um, oh, well, she's here. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully things go well. Oh, paparazzi, I think she, yep, that dude's always the paparazzi. Things seem to be, you know, going well. You know, hopefully going well. We got a lot of people. The staff seem to be fully, fully here and fully ready to go. Um, why have you turned up in a wedding dress? <laughs> Well, that needs to be fixed. But we're not gonna worry about that right now. Like, if you wanna rock around in your... Like, maybe it's their anniversary and she's like, I'm gonna be different and I'm gonna bring out my wedding dress for my anniversary to go on a date. I don't see her significant other, though, so... <laughs> That's a bit awkward. I see Dusk is here. And so is Jace. They're, they're neighbors. Oh, and the paparazzi's here. 
Like, she's a three star, he's a two star. They can go upstairs. I wonder if they will. Yeah, I don't see um, Camilla's husband anywhere. Okay, that bar needs to be clean. Can I just, I'm just make clean. <laughs> I'm just gonna be nice. <laughs> I mean, that does not concern us, obviously. Oh, wait, we need to order? Order for table. My back itches. Alright, so let's order. Evie's so adorable. Okay, what are we gonna have? <laughs> what are we going to have tonight? Okay. I ordered food. So now we're just gonna have to wait on the food. In the meantime, we can talk to our lovely date here. <laughs> So, thank you. We'll bring your order at, oh, as soon as it's ready. I'm pretty sure that's what she said. It disappeared before I can for surely tell you if that's a compliment or outfit. Tell her she looks nice. She does look nice and adorable. Freaking Evie's so freaking cute. Okay. Why are y'all already flirty? Y'all haven't even done any flirty interactions. Okay, calm down. Deep conversations. Because we gotta do a deep conversations and also socialize with their date ten times, which really will not be hard. I think I hit ask about day twice. That's fine. That's cool. That's whatever. Where is the flirt? Okay. I feel like I've been having a hard time finding the flirt option recently, but I found it. Can you, can you make it? Listen, no one's sitting here. There is someone sitting here. But no one's sitting here. Why, did, why couldn't we have sat there? I'm just saying. Oh, hey, Marie's here. Who are some of these people you're with? I don't understand who some of these people are here with. Like, like, I don't, the people that I know have significant others, they're not here with their significant other. Like, should I be concerned? Like, I think your significant others. Yeah, like, and even their daughter's here. I gotta sneeze. Oh! Ah! Anyway, like I was saying, like, her her husband and daughter are here. Okay, you two are together. I forgot that you two were together now. But I don't see everyone else's significant others. Just, just saying. I don't, I don't see them. Jace is now up here. Dusk knows Jace, so they may have could have come together, but Dusk is sitting up here all in a row. I don't know if Jace was with her or not. Interesting if they were. Um, but, you know. Oh, Neo's here now. What did you get here? Let's dance to the music. Well, oh, wait, I need to go back to the date. Is our food ready yet? <laughs> like, seriously, why are you, why is there a third person here? Why is there three chefs? I mean, there's another chef station. So she technically could be there, but she's just standing out here, and so is this lady. I'm really confused as to what's going on. <laughs> Whatever. We have an extra waiter and chef if we need to, though. I just, I don't care who fixes it, if it's the extra chef or whatever. I just want my food before the timer runs out, because that usually tends to be the problem. My timer runs out. What the heck, Evie? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Set your little butt back down. <laughs> Why are we talking about ducks? Okay. That's a thing, apparently. Alright, well, that was easy. So that, the main part's done. They just now got their food, and I'm pretty sure they sat down before us. I could be wrong. They, where the heck did both of us go? Oh, please tell me y'all are not doing what I think y'all are doing. Yeah, no! No! No. <laughs> Why is that happening? Oh, okay, they've already jumped in the bush. Why? <laughs> this is the second time that this has happened. No, this is like the third time this has happened, like recently. Like, it doesn't go to the regular woohoo, it goes to the freaking try for baby autonomously. <laughs> What's happening? What's up with my Sims? Do they all have baby fever? Should I be concerned? This is a problem. This is not a part of my plan. This is not a part of my plans, guys. <laughs> We're supposed to be getting food. <laughs> Why is this happening? <sighs> 
So that didn't stop them. And that that was their first time together. Okay. <laughs> and now she has to pee. <laughs> um <sighs> Sit back down. <laughs> I don't even know what to do with y'all two right now. I mean, our date's almost over. We haven't got our meal, but I think they're pretty... I think they're pretty happy with their date. Um, I hope Evie went to the bathroom. Don't tell me you went to go pee in the bush, also. I, don't, I just... I don't... If Evie ends up freaking pregnant... Oh, gosh. Ugh... I don't know what to do with y'all two. I just, I don't. <laughs> I need to turn down the anonymous setting, I believe. Or something. Like, I need to go figure out why this is happening more often than it used to. <laughs> uh, uh, I have w risky woohoo turned on for a reason, guys. Like, I like surprises, but when y'all are purposely trying to make the surprises happen, I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, where's our food? Was that our food? Can a waiter come get our food? This is the only thing about dine out. It seems like things don't happen fast enough. Like they should. Is that night or Acer? That's night. Okay, I get Acer and night mixed up. Night is soon gonna have a makeover and I won't get them confused anymore, but that's night. Like if I don't see their face, I get them confused. But as soon as I've seen their face, I know who it is. But who's Knight here with? I don't know. I never figured out who Dusk was here with. We never got our food, and the date is literally about to end. I mean, I got a gold anyway. <laughs> we had fun in the bush. <laughs> Did Dusk ever get her food? No. These people up here are getting their food. I see how it is, guys. The celebrities get more attention. Then we do. Okay, we had a legendary date. Are we still gonna wait on our food? What the frick, guys? Stop it! <laughs> I can't keep my eyes off of them for like two seconds! Did I stop them that time? I may have stopped them in time that time. Listen, this is what happens when you don't bring our food in time. <laughs> okay, so they've actually went to um, the city next to Del Sol Valley over into um, San Majuto. Uh They never got their food. I think, like, something glitched out and, like, when they went and did things when I wasn't wanting them to do things. I think it, like, messed it up and their food order got cancelled or something. I'm not really quite sure. They never- they wasn't getting their food and people that came in way later after them <laughs> was getting their food, but, you know, so, well, they just come to hang out at freaking park. I think they've been here before, honestly. Maybe I could be thinking wrong, but, uh, anyway, you know, <laughs> things did not go as planned. I- I had a whole plan for this and things- Definitely did not go to plan. And it's freaking already 4.30 a.m. What the frick? Well, I hope you had a fun time, Evie. Apparently, you know. Y'all had y'all's own ideas. I forgot how much stuff I've added to this park. And, like, everything that's going on. Why is there still fireworks going off? Why is there fireworks going off in the first place? I'm not gonna go here. Go here together. I'm gonna go into the park instead of actually standing in front of the park like a bunch of weirdos. Oh, there's a child. I think it's a vampire. Nope. Th I think that is a vampire child, but for some reason half of this child's pink. I'm really... I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Just say. Oh, I forget there's all this other stuff going on around here. Oh, well, what? Who's this? I don't know. Ah, let's go here! Wait. Did I say go here together? I don't know if I said... Look at the swans. I forget that all this other stuff actually exists over here, like, away from the park. Like, look at all this stuff going on. Like, there's... Can you fish here, too? Like, what the heck? And there's this little cute little area here. Like, I forget all the... There's a bar here? 
Okay, I lost Evie, but I now have found her. I was like, where the heck is she? she he's already over there. He even went to use the bathroom. But he's already over there. I don't know what happened to her. Oh, okay. See, see, you're hungry. You know why you're hungry? Because, like, you made the food get canceled. I, I am just blaming this <laughs> on you guys. The fact that y'all didn't. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> we gotta go. We might want to call out at work. Hold up. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> we won't take a vacation day. Do we? I'm assuming we have. Yeah, we have vacation days. <laughs> Evie! Why are you taking so long to get here? <laughs> Thank you. Do not walk away from me. <laughs> okay. Oh, why don't we give her a hug? That's, that's perfectly fine. Just to keep her from running away. <laughs> Which sounds bad. But when Sims are on a certain lot, they assume, they keep assuming they need to be at that lot and they can't be at the other places too much. But, you know. Da -da. We're not hooking up in no freaking bush. We're done with the bushes. Okay? Okay, guys. We're done with the bushes. Okay, I can't. <laughs> he keeps moving in front of me and I can't click on her. Her face right now looks very, very... She's, she's not sure if she is liking where this joke is going. <laughs> she's like... <laughs> this is going to be funny. Not really. No! <laughs> no freaking bushes. Got it? None. None. No. No more bushes. <laughs> but. I am looking for one particular thing, which was my plan all along, but then y'all had to like... <laughs> Mess that whole plan. Well, not necessarily mess it up, but you, you know, threw like a freaking curveball in my plan. Thanks, you two. But we're gonna go ahead. He's gonna go ahead. I mean, they're not getting any younger. They're both like in the adult stage. So, you know, next stage is being a freaking elder. <laughs> so, uh, and they've technically like, in perspective, they've technically dated for a while now. So why not actually take it to the next step? And like the way they were acting, you know, they were really eager to actually take it to the full on next step. So, can I just like actually switch to this so I can screenshot? I like my screenshots. If she for some reason, I've actually started having Sims say no more often now, and it's just because the mood wasn't right or like the timing wasn't right, and I'm like, the heck? So, <laughs> I am I am full expecting bad things to happen. Yay, no! Bad things didn't happen. <laughs> They're freaking adorable. <laughs> it's about time Evie finally actually got married. <laughs> Both of them, to be honest with you. Uh, well, granted, no one in his family has actually gotten married. They're all having troubles. <laughs> um, at least Fantion moved in with her boyfriend. So... She's a step ahead of all the rest. Well, now he's engaged, so there's that. And now he's just randomly gonna do push-ups on the floor. She's like, okay, well, I mean, you've already got me got me proposed to you, so you don't really have to try to. Wait, wait, are we are we are we water ball? Or wait, are we playing freaking water balloons? Or why did she run away? Okay, wait, <laughs> I'm confused. She like grabbed water balloons out of there and then walked up to us, and he apparently wants to hug her, and then she just took a flag. <laughs> Why is Evie so strange? Why is a lot of people strange? Oh, hey, it's Cindy. So, yeah! That is... Oh, there's so many people out and about right now. So, they're now engaged. I will, even though this is the end of the Forgotten and Evie series both. Like, they're done. I will be doing at least a... Why is there just water... Was this always water straight around the pond itself? Interesting. Never noticed. Um, I will be doing a, like a little wedding special or whatever for these two getting married and sort of uniting the Forgotten and Evie families. And now they basically can try to look past the fact that the Forgotten family used to not really care for the Evie family. <laughs> um, or the So, because the way people viewed the two families, but... Now they're coming together and sort of becoming united. So maybe that perception of the Forgotten Family won't be the same anymore. 
So I definitely will be doing a special on their wedding in the future, in the near future. They're definitely not going to wait too long. I'm gonna let him go home. I don't know if Evie's going to follow us. Um, <laughs> I don't know where she went. So yeah, I'm going to end this episode here on that note. And thank you so, so much for watching. If there's any like big like special points that you want me to... Um, like record maybe do updates on in the future there is vaporeon's wedding i may just do screenshots of it if any of them get married i will definitely for sure they have screenshots like off camera uh i'll also have a lot of screenshots in any of my updates just to sort of let y'all see also the things that had happened in some form uh but anyway thank you so so much for watching this episode and thank you so much for watching this series i We'll miss having the series on my channel, but I'm also looking forward to sort of just getting to play with them in my own time. And I'll see you in the next episode of whatever it is. Not the Forgotten Family, so next video is what I should have said. <laughs> but anyway, bye.